First John chapter 2, verse 1. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. Don't sin. And if any man sin, okay, I've gone and sinned. I shouldn't have, but I did. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he's the propitiation, the appeasing of our sins. Not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And you can run that verse back to John 3, 16. Well, look at that. <clears throat> Advocate. Now, if you see on the screen, if you got the video, how we use Webster's 1828 Dictionary. We don't run to the Hebrew and Greek here. An advocate, in the primary sense, signifies one who pleads the cause of another in a court of civil law. One who pleads the cause of another before any trivial judicial court. So, you got to ask yourself, how is Jesus Christ pleading? Well, if you read your Bible and ever studied Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 2, you realize God the judge is in heaven on his throne. And the devil or Satan, I believe this happens right now, approaches God's throne. And they talk back and forth and the devil says, you know, I go into and throw it up and down the earth. And in Revelation, the Bible says that Satan, the devil, the dragon, the old serpent, is the accuser of the brethren. And that prosecuting attorney, Satan, the devil, says, hey, what about Stiley? You see what he did? Your son? He was my son, but you adopted him. And you see what he did? And you know what? The Bible says that Satan is the father of lies. But when, when it comes to Satan approaching God about my sins, I don't think he lies because I'm a sinner. And a very bad sinner. I mean, degrees of sin. And the Bible says, I am not to sin. <laughs> and when I do sin, I have an advocate, and the devil steps up and says, God. <laughs> I almost said your honor. I don't know if he was, I don't even know if the devil would say that to God. Your son, Stiley, that was mine, look what he did. Look what he thought. Look what he said. Look at that. Your child sinned. And God would approach to me, he says, uh, with conscience and the Holy Spirit. What about that sin? <clears throat> now I can, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, everybody sin. Now I, 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 well, I'm not going to look at that today. <clears throat> but when I sin a sin and conscience moves in, the Holy Spirit speaks to me about that sin. And the devil goes before God and says, what about that sin? It's played out in 1 John 2. Uh, Father, I've sinned. Now look at 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Stiley, what about that sin you've done? Father, I, I'm guilty. I shouldn't have done it. I know it was wrong. Father, I sinned and I, I kind of enjoyed it, but I know I'm not supposed to. But Father, I, I, I am guilty of, of the crime called sin. And in the courtroom of heaven, there's the devil, there's God, 
And the devil's like, see, told you he did it. Man, confess your sins. Don't let the devil win. Because if you deny your sin and you don't confess your sin, when the devil brings that sin to God and you're like, man, I didn't see it. It's like, yeah. Imagine accusing the brethren, the liar and the fathers of lies. Going before God and say, <laughs> that's your son. And not, not only did he sin X, Y, Z, but he just lied about it. Whereas you confess your sins, like I said, Father, I, I, I sin, I'm guilty. And you got the devil there, okay, there's his, <laughs> look at that, Father. <laughs> well, no, he's not going to say that. I would. The devil would say to God, well, look at that. He even admitted it. What you going to do? Holy and righteous one. And then the son who's seated at the right hand of the father. He says, father. Yes, son. That's one of ours. Styley. To show you, here's his name in the Lamb's Book of Life, Father. And yes, he sinned. And he confessed it. First John 1 9, Father. The devil's correct. He confessed it. So they're both correct. There was a sin that happened. Father, I stand in 1 John 2, 1. I mean, he knows he's not supposed to sin, but he sinned. Father, if I may dress the court. Yes, son. And this is illustration. I, I don't believe this is how it's going to happen, but to this point is the devil... Satan, the accuser of our our children, the brethren, has approached the bench, the heavenly throne, with the sins of Stiley Hayward. And Stiley, you fill in your name for my name. Stiley has confessed that sin. And we talked about the sins I confess. And one recently. But Stiley has confessed his sins. Now, there's payment that needs to be done, Father. There needs to be a sentence. Father, I address the court as, as your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and remind you. And imagine Jesus taking his hands and showing the Father, Father, these holes. Is the payment for that sinner. Both past, present, and future of that, that, you know, that man. It's going to say young man. The sins of Stiley Hayward before, present, and future. Father, he became our child on April 25th, 1987. He knelt down at his grandmother's coffee table and he asked me to save him. He called upon me to be his Lamb of God. And Father, he, he's 52 years old. <clears throat> he's 33 and three quarters a year saved. And he's still a sinner. He's still in that flesh. But Father, he, he confessed his sins. Father, I'm advocating for Stiley Hayward. Father, I'm the propitiation. I am the appeasement of those sins. It is your blood, God, Father. Acts 20, 28. It is the gospel that, Father, I suffered and died according to the scriptures. Jesus, I'm talking about. And they buried me, and they even put a seal. They didn't trust my disciples. And three days and three nights... I came out of that tomb and I sent an angel to tell them, I am not here. I am risen. 
All Jesus speaking. Father, <clears throat> the Satan or devil, who's not my brother, he's right. Stylely sin. And he sinned that sin. Or sins, plural. And Father, you have heard the testimony of the Holy Spirit has spoken in this courtroom to say that Stiley confessed his sins. And the Holy Spirit prayed that words that, that Stiley would never understand. But we understand. So, Father, the Bible said that he confessed his sins. And the Bible says, Father, that you're faithful and you're just. He's guilty. That's a wicked being over there. He's going to the lake of fire. We're holy and righteous. That's our child standing before you, Father. And he's guilty. And he said he's guilty. The Father on the throne declares before the devil and before the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and all the angels, forgiven by the blood of Jesus, my son. Write that man down, not guilty. Sentence is, has been paid by my son upon the cross of Calvary. And not only do I forgive that sinner of those sins that he confessed, cleanse that sinner, clean him, angel, bring the book of Stiley Hayward into this courtroom now. I believe we all have a book with our name in it. Will you hand it to the court reporter, please? Court reporter, open that book of Stiley Hayward. Find what sin was mentioned by the prosecuting attorney, please. You have found it. It's dated and written. Will you take that book with that date and those sins, and will you hand them to my son, Jesus Christ? Son, do you see the page where the sin has been mentioned by the devil, Lucifer, Satan, the prosecuting attorney? You see those sins that he done. I have forgiven him of those sins, haven't I? But I still see those sins, don't I? Son, will you take your blood and erase those sins out of that book, please? Son, will you give that book to the court reporter? Court reporter, will you read the day and time and the sins that Stanley done? Your Honor, Father, yes. I don't see anything. What do you mean? The entry in that page has been wiped clean by the blood of Jesus. There's nothing there, just the date. There's the stuff that he did for the Lord Jesus Christ, but the sin that was brought before the courtroom by the devil by saying, I don't see those sins. They have been cleaned by the blood of your son, our Lord and God, Jesus. So the court is saying, I have forgiven that sinner, and that sinner has been clean of the charges brought before this court today. Yes, Heavenly Father, Almighty, Stiley, and those sins brought before the court today have been made clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the testimony we bring, evidence number one, Son, will you show your father the nail prints? Here they are, Father. That's marked evidence number one.
The father addresses the court. Son, well done, thou good and faithful servant for confessing your sins. Now, there may be a chastisement, there may be, but well done. You confessed your sins, you did what the, what the word of God I told you to do. Satan, devil, persecuting attorney. As far as the sin charges you brought against Stiley William Hayward, I don't know what sins you're talking about. Let me look to the east. Wrong way. Let me look to the east. Well, the west. Let me look to the east. Let me look to the west. I don't know what sins you're talking about. Satan, you can leave my courtroom. Stanley, where are you going? Well, sir, I'm leaving too. We're, we're done. I'm sorry. It's okay. I've forgiven you. I'm really sorry, Father. But I gotta go. What do you mean you gotta go? The courtroom's done, Father. It's okay. Aren't you seated in heavy places? Yes, Father. Stay. Tell the devil to get out. Michael, one day this is going to happen. Michael, yes, Father. Get your angels, our angels. Yes, Lord. And cast that devil, that Satan accuser, the brethren, out of here. And his angels, too. And we Christians that have been raptured. We will be in heaven at the time that Michael and his angels will fight the devil and his angels. In Revelation 12, the Bible says, the accuser of the brethren. And even the charge, the old serpent that brought in all this mess. And we're going to see Revelation 12. We're going to see Michael kick the devil, the dragon, out of heaven. And let me read Revelation 12, verse 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the devil of the dragon. And the dragon fought against with his angels. And prevailed not, neither was there a place found any more in heaven. I've heard people say the devil doesn't go in heaven. He can't go. Yes, he is. The devil, when absent from the body and present with the Lord. I know a brother in the Lord who, who just died this weekend. He's, he was absent from the body and present with the Lord. And he's gone to heaven. He's seen Jesus Christ. And his wife and his children. He's also seen the devil. Job 1 and Job 2. Read your scriptures. It was not found in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is salvation and strength and kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. <coughs> And the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. That's the courtroom I just gave you. And they that overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And he that dwell in them. I dwell in heaven then. Uh, we will be in heaven. Rejoice. We just saw Michael kick Lucifer's butt out of heaven. We're going to witness that. And there will be no more courtrooms. There will be no more sin. 
Praise the Lord.